Still not enough, you say. You can go another round, can't you? Your soul, your goal, causes or has. Lonsi, Lonsi, La Ia, Pila. The Lumen Sage. Ulsa, Kalasa, Ua Ona Kala, Ulprit Arbor, Ayosa Go. Now, where are my new best friends? I suppose one of them is an adult, so they should be okay. Take care of my babies, will you? Some people may have a thing for the 45s, but to me, these are the real works of art. How much you ask, I'm not putting a chainsaw on your arm. So what do you want?
Excuse me, sir. May I have my glasses back? Huh? Oh, yeah. Here you go. Cereza, how did you get such magical glasses? <laughs> the glasses aren't magic, silly. I can see the monsters without them. Monsters? Not quite. So, uh, has Bayonetta, I mean your mom, been fighting these big bad monsters for a long time? Mummy is a witch, and witches protect people and are very strong. When I grow up, I'll be strong too, and I'll protect my mummy. Wait, you think witches do what? No, forget it. No point in arguing with a little kid. I'll manage on my own. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Never cease to amuse me, Cheshire. I suppose that's your next target? <laughs> this is yours, little one. You didn't cry while I was gone, did you? Nope. Good. Bayonetta, no matter how I ask, no matter how many times, you always say the oh, same thing. Come now, Kitty. You know it was a all misunderstanding. Just... You're so stubborn, you know that? My father. He was a journalist, too. In fact, he was twice the man I could ever hope to be. He was obsessed with one case his entire career. A case so bizarre it took over his life. They could have made a movie of the details. The followers of darkness, the Umbra witches, and their light world counterparts, the Lumen Sages, controlling everything with a power known as the Eyes of the World. Then, the Light and Dark clans suddenly disappeared from their medieval home in Europe. You may be familiar with the town. You're standing in it. Welcome to Vigrid. Five hundred years later. Five hundred years. Each clan, working at the behest of the powers that be, sought to lead their fractured world towards peace. They both possessed an eye said to have the power to create history that they used to oversee the world. However, their spirit of cooperation did not last. For amongst them, a pair of young star-crossed lovers conceived a child that sent the clans on a path to ruin. The woman was thrown in jail, and the man exiled from his clan. However, the child remained with the Umbra, raised as a black sheep even amongst the darkness. Since the balance between light and dark had been lost, both clans spiraled into decay. Legend had it that the two eyes could be united to control reality itself. And this legend fueled ambition and desire, leading to a myriad of battles between the clans. In fact, it led to their mutual destruction. My father was mocked for buying such a fairy tale. However, I believed his story. And I believe it more than ever now that I've found you. The memory of the clan lingers on, despite the passing of 500 years. What on earth was my father searching for? And why did he have to die for it? I have to discover the truth with my own eyes. That's why I haven't given up my chase for it. Or you. The head of the Ithaval group, the multinational that dominates Vigrid, recently tried to sell an enormous gemstone on the black market. If he isn't selling out in the open, it means we're going to have to acquire it by other means. And that starts by sneaking onto that jet.
<sighs> Mummy, are you looking for something? I am. How did you lose it? Little one. Do you have anything you really like? Something really important to you? Yes, this. I love it. Where did you get this? You gave it to me, Mummy, for my birthday. When you love something, never lose it. Understand, little one? You must keep it safe, close to your heart. Huh! <laughs> 